Dave Holland. Now, next to go up here is a very, very nice airplane indeed, and this is T6, that is. 14 feet. Wingspan. And also, as well as that, the currently great Spitfire. Another large aeroplane. Gee, it is. Texan takes off as well as the uh, Spitfire goes up there in the hands of her own uh, Spitfire.
Brilliant. Sam, where's Aaron? All right, you watch this when they clear the runway. Ladies and gentlemen, for your pleasure, my pleasure, and everybody's pleasure, this is a business watch.
And ready for the four engines from two engines to go now. And it goes. Biggest aircraft for the show now. And this is the Amal. And uh, here she goes, look everybody, lights flashing on, you're watching the biggest showstopper in the world here. Just listen.
Well, we've got a large comet who's taken off now. And as well as that, we've got two small ones from Rick Max, Marco Benincasa, and Paul Marston, small version. And these small ones cost 290 pounds 99. So 299, just under 300 pounds. The eight comets flying by full size by the Shuttleworth Museum in 1965. The full size is 44 foot wingspan. This one is half scale. Work it out for yourselves. The aircraft is leading there is the powered by two twin cylinder Lenoa 74 cc engines. The small one I've just been killed by Steve Phillip with two OS 54 two strokes. It's a nice flyby here, look at that, doesn't that look good? The red one, of course, is the color of the three of them were built in 19. And now we have three, if we can get one either side, that'll be really nice. A bit of history this day. <laughs> So, the Rick Max display team leading there just a moment, and Steve Holland, what about that? Does that get a special crap, everybody? Come on! Smaller version of this aircraft, of course, which is pretty in that. Grow the house. And we do by Ken Shepard in the Radio Control Model Flyer magazine. And I think landing, yes we are. Pretty aeroplane, isn't it? There you go, the half scale version. And that is Steve Holland, everybody. And the other version goes up here. The new available if you want a pristine aircraft. It looks rather good, doesn't it? Mark. Century 
ways. Uh, you, you ought to know what's going on behind the scenes here. On. We've got several radio links, that's what they say, you would believe. Now the war birds are at it. There goes the gorgeous yellow-tailed Mustang. There goes a lovely yellow spit-tailed Mustang there. Looks like John Beasy's to me. And last of all goes the Texan, Harvard. We're away. Spitfire going in a roll in front of us there, Mustang. There we are, do we 
give him a big round of applause. That's Mr. Ted Allison, everybody. Thank you. Got his own custom made retracting undercarriage. On board compressor. Immediately both turbines failed. And so the piston engine had to take over. Armed at magazine, that is he looking out there on the east red and the one in the blue hat out there. The Italian. And the flaps out on the aircraft as it comes in now. In the meantime, starts winding up his engines. Look on his huge aircraft there, the magnificent large bomber. A huge aircraft with its 26 wheels. You've got uh, camera you can pictures of the magnificent Airbus and AT8800, the same as you did on the Messerschmitt, of course. Did you wish to? on the enormous great thing. Well this one here is 70.8 kilograms so we're talking about certainly 160 pounds weight of aircraft here. Airliner and if you're a farmer this weekend of course you'll be seeing this aeroplane. Here we go. She's rolling everybody. of them being used for leading edge slats on the leading edge of that magnificent black airliner. Now oh, come on, doesn't that look real? Lots to anti hard airways. Those large salt swivels. Magnificent. Only a long way away. Top of the hour at three o'clock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Cheryl, the amazing Airbus A380, 800. His name is Peter Michel. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you very much, Winnie. And also preceded by...